What was the craziest thing you can say you saw? What What was the craziest thing you saw? Okay, the craziest thing I saw. I was in the dunes. What's the dunes? It's a Christian facility in Suckertop, Michigan. It used to be like a, a a missionary school for nuns or something like that, but they turned it into a prison. Well, I was in the dunes during time in the dunes, and um, I was in charge. I was the clerk or the special activities director, so I was I actually had my hand in some of everything, the newspaper, everything. So, um, and also at the time I was a clerk for the uh, food technology uh, instructor. So I did that so I could eat what I wanted to eat, you know, good food. I cooked right down there myself, lobster, steaks, whatever I wanted. So um, there's a laundry room right down the end of the hall, just before you get to the food technology room. And um, I was walking toward the room and I heard somebody crying. Now, now you got, you got, it's, it's a guy, it, 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 we call, his name is Mighty Joe Young. A lot of people know him. A lot of people know him. He came from Central Complex to the Dunes. He just spent a lot of time inside the wall, weightlifter. Called him Mighty Joe Young. This brother was about 6'8 and um, weighed at least 320. 340, all solid muscle. And he was the laundry clerk, he was the laundry man. So I was walking down the hall, this, this particular part of the prison is in the basement. I was walking down the hall, going toward the room, and I heard some crying. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, wonder what the crying was. So I slowly eased up, and I looked in the laundry room, and Mighty Joe Young had a white boy choking him, had him up in the air, Pin him against the wall and was sucking his thing. I stopped, whoa, I could not believe what I saw. Everybody was like, you know, uh, we talking 6'8, <laughs> 340 pound muscles, work out with the waist all day. Everybody kind of stayed out the way. But, so I, I knew that um, I need some witnesses. <laughs> so I eased back to the. Um, the activity room where they got the ping pong tables, uh, no pool table, ping pong table, television. I, I told the guy, hey, y'all, come here, come here, come here. So I took about five guys with me, and we took down the hall, and we peeped in the room, and let them all see. We said, oh, look at you. He, too, he put the boy down. Oh, no, it ain't what you think, it ain't what you think. <laughs> no, no, my angel. And so he got mad, trying to get, oh, oh, oh you better not. And that's when I found out he was scared of mad. Got to pull, because he used to be. I pull my knife out. I think he's gonna do something. I'm going I'm going I'm, I'm going make him leak it, you know. So, but uh, he he stopped. That's why I find his scared of knives. And from then on, he was under our thumb. Name Mighty Joe Young. Mighty Joe six, Young. Six eight, six seven eight. Six eight. All muscles. I seen uh, the, the other crazy things. Crying shame. That's another homosexual female uh, wannabe. And uh, crying shame was six five. And um. His boyfriend was about about five two, and his boyfriend would walk around. They walk around together. His boyfriend would carry a milk crate, you know, them plastic milk crates. And so his boyfriend would walk around this plastic milk crate and hold a hand this giant, this giant next to him. And whenever he get mad, he'd set the milk crate on the ground. Anybody been there? Tell him, not lying. He'd set the milk crate on the ground, stand on the milk crate, and tell him, hold your head down. The, the, this big guy would hold his head down so he could slap him. <laughs> what? Crying shame. That's what we call crying shame. They had another guy that was homosexual. He was a young guy. He came in. His his name was, we called him 6'9". Cause he was actually 6'9". And he was, he wanted to be a girl. He came in young, wanted to be a basketball player, strong, young man. Changed his mind, decided he wanted to be a girl. And that was some strange things. It seemed like at that time, all the biggest guys was gay. And they wanted to be female. They wanted to be what they call catchers, you know. And that was during the time they, they had a, a, a sick culture that um, if you're doing it just because you're in prison and you're Giving, not receiving, then you're not gay. So 
I didn't like the concept, so I came up with this concept. Like I said, anytime if you wonder what what gay is, let me tell you what gay is. Anytime two people of the same sex do anything, uh, get involved in any type of activity that causes any one of them to become aroused in any kind of way or reach some type of climax, then you've been involved in a homosexual act and you're gay. I'm not saying nothing wrong with it, but. That's what you are. So you can't tell me that you can have sex with men while you're in prison. Then you got out of prison, you're not gay anymore. That's not the truth. Now, I believe that's where a lot of download, this download stuff come from. The same attitude, no. They're just men trying to hide the fact that they can't live themselves being gay. So they're trying to hide the fact that they're gay.